Welcome back to the channel everybody. This is the ICS CXP APE AEG EBB SE unboxed by AM. This is another airsoft mic production. Ah, now decisions, decisions. Which one of these bad boys should I use? I'll use that one. Come on. Ooh. Tasty. Enough of those shenanigans. I am super excited about today's unboxing. Why? Because this is a brand new 2023 version, not out yet. The box is in perfect brand new condition and it's not been tampered with or played with by anyone else once it left the factory or the warehouse because it came from the warehouse to me. Come on. Loving the colour scheme. Come Oh, look at the hand guard. Oh, I like that. Would you look at the state of that? And guess what? It's got all the master mods upgrades inside as well. This is a serious bit of kit. So for those of you who remember, I did an unboxing on that bad boy. What does that remind you of? <laughs> right, so the first thing I'm going to remove is that barrel cover. Just get rid of that orange look. There you go. That's just there for when it's not in use. And what do we get in the box? Well, we get the standard ICS card that has all your QR codes and you can also download your instruction manual with this. A cleaning and unjamming rod. Right, what else we got? We've got quite a few bits and pieces here. So apart from this mag, love these mags. Um, I do believe it's 300 BBs. Right, what else we got? Yes, we've got a barrel tool. You also get a QD sling point and it's got one of those little mock charging handles again. You see that? I love how this is done. I remember it from the first uh, version that I did and I'll show it to you again momentarily. And of course it wouldn't be ICS if they didn't bang in a couple of spare fuses. Nice. And now for the bad boy itself. Would you look at that? Come on! Now one thing I'd like to point out to you which I think is really good and I'm glad they've stuck with this just like its predecessor it's a full metal build yes so it's none of this lower polymer upper metal or upper polymer lower metal none of that metal 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 the only thing that isn't metal which I'm sure you would appreciate is the grip and the stock Something this modern is going to have a polymer stock and of course a polymer grip. I tell you what, let's start the grip. And just in case it's not really coming over on your screens, this is a nice contrast between black and grey. And then the hand guard, okay, I don't know if you remember the first one. In fact, why do I have to ask you if you remember? I'll show you, hold on. There you go, there's the original, different colour scheme. Look, key mod, hand guard. Whereas this one, M lock. Oh, and before I go any further, inside this bad boy right here, you have an aluminium cylinder head and piston head, so both aluminium or aluminium, and you have a full steel teeth piston and a metal ear nozzle. And to me, that screams durability. Now, this grip, it's like they said, hmm, what sort of grippage should we give them for this grip? I'll tell you what, let's give them all. And then we get to this stock that not only reminds me of a boot, but it reminds me of another uh, platform. I'm sure you know which one I'm talking about, FN. And what I like about this, it's got a cheat rest that you can raise up to five different levels. You've got a stock that can be extended out to six different positions. And this bad boy folds. 
So you would use that little button there to raise your stock and you can see here where you can leave it on any of those five positions. And then if you wanted to fold the stock, you would just use that big button right there, press it in, look at that, and Bob's your uncle. Nice. Absolutely love that it folds, but you know me, I keep it real, okay? I'll give you my honest opinion. I don't like the wires being exposed like that. It would have been nice if they had like a nice thick sort of rubberish tube that just went all the way around there. And that's what it looks like on the other side. And of course, you would press on this big button right here to extend your stock. And that's it, fully extended. And of course, you've got a nice rubberized, and it really is rubberized. It's not that sort of tough plastic. It feels like strong rubber with a nice bit of grippage along the back and your ICS logo. You have a polymer sling point here, a metal one here, and if I just skip forward very quickly, you have this metal point right here, which is for your QD sling point. Oh, I love that look. Special edition. <laughs> nice. Right, so as you can see here, you've got your safe, semi and full auto. Standard. But there's nothing standard about this system. Because it does have the ICS triple s e trigger system and you know what that means it means you get a lot more than just your semi and your full auto keep watching <laughs> and then what i do love about this a big large prominent mag release ambidextrous so this is the other side if i press it from the other side you can see it moving and of course you can press it from this side to do exactly the same thing and believe it or not, you can also release the mag by pushing upwards like that. Look at that. <laughs> and then when you move down here, guess what that is? That's your bolt release. We'll get back to that in a moment. Over here, you've got your ICS logo, another one. And of course it says the CXP APE, but it says special edition. And I, you know, when ICS contacted me about this, I was quite excited because as I said at the top of the video, I've got the first version of this, which I bought. When they say they've got one that has been upgraded, it's a special edition and it's in this nice sort of two-tone black and gray, I got excited. Now, let's just move back into here. Now, straight away you can tell this selector switch is a quality piece right here because those of you like me that have handled, used or owned many airsoft rifles the selector switches are a bit longer and sometimes they're quite loose to say the least and sometimes they don't click into place firmly enough my experience with these bad boys because i've had the first version of this and quite a few other ics models is that their selector switches are quite decent especially on models like this i mean that is a decent click and it clicks into place nicely. Now you might think that's all, ugh, is that important? Yes it is. There's nothing worse than a mushy or a loose selector switch. You know when you're pushing this bad boy into place. And then if we move up top, we've got the rear sight, quite a long post we've got here. Um, that flips up like that. Not only does it have a little peephole right there, it appears to have a groove at the top. So you can use either, I would suggest. And I'm loving the large dial you've got on the side to adjust your windage. And then you've got this rather long and generous metal rail system. And then at the front, you have what I would call a true flip up sight, where you literally press a button to deploy. Come on. And on this particular front sight, it is adjustable. You can also use it as your front post like that. Or if you push it down again, You've got this uh, sight blade right there that you can use if you don't want to flip it up. And then you have your metal flash hider. Now, remember I showed you that? This is your charging handle, as it were. And again, I've showed this on the first model. Pretty cool what you can do. If you look carefully, you see that little gap right there? That's for this. So I can literally, wait for it, slot it in and that becomes your little mock charging handle. But what that really does is it pulls back your mock bolt. Actually, let me go to the other side. 
Oh, and actually, quick point, stop press. When you do put that little handle in on one side, make sure you can see that other end of it protruding slightly on the other, like you can see right there. So that will get hold of the mechanism properly. So you can open up your mock bolt like that. And notice, I let go of it. I don't need to hold on to it. And there's your metal mock bolt right there. And effectively, it's just a thin sheet of metal. It's not a big block of anything. Um, because right here is your hop-up adjustment. A pretty decent one too. And remember earlier, I quickly pointed towards that. That right there is your bolt release. So if I push that down, nice. And again, everything is ambidextrous in terms of your bolt release, your mag release, and your selector switch. And of course, your little covert charging handle. <laughs> you can also make that ambidextrous by pulling it out and slotting it in the other side. Nice. Now, if you're concerned about, oh, the way you can just easily pull that out and put it in the other side, I might lose that out in the field during a game of Airsoft. No, no, no. I'm telling you, you need a bit of effort. <laughs> it comes out as you saw, but you need a bit of effort to pull that out and a bit of effort to click it back in, okay? And not only that, the reason why I call it your little covert charging handle is because you can take it out and leave it out. You don't need it on there. You only ever need it really if you need to adjust your hop up or if you want to really pretend that you are pulling back a charging handle. <laughs> right, let's get a battery pack in here. There's two ways you can put a battery pack in here. Way number one. And there you go. Another thing that sets this bad boy apart from its predecessor. It comes fitted with a Dean's plug as standard. Nice. Let's just make sure it works. Oh, oh, that's very snappy, snappy. Oh, that's crispy. Let's just check out the sensitivity of this trigger. Here we go. Oh, very nice. Quite a short travel there. Um, hang on. Let me see if I can just hold it just as it goes off. I'm holding it. I'm going to release. And pull again very nice very nice very short travel reset absolutely loving it you know on some of the cheaper models you've literally got to slam the trigger right to the back <laughs> wall of this trigger guard but this bad boy goes off there nice. loving that let's uh nice okay i'm gonna Nice selector. I'm gonna get this ready for an accuracy and a chrono test. Now you've seen me program this type of trigger before, yeah? So what I'll do, I'll keep that for a separate video. What I'm gonna do right now is go straight to the chrono and the accuracy test. Oh, and by the way, I've got a 7.4 LiPo currently connected. I'm sure I could push it to an 11.1, but I'll stick to a 7.4. Oh, and by the way, I've got a full length LiPo battery pack right here. And what I love about this stock is that it's got ample of space. Look at that, completely in. Even my finger's partly missing as well. That's how much room you've got in this bad boy. And when the battery pack is in, you've even got space horizontally to lay down the cable. Nice. Oh, and if you're wondering what is the other way of getting the battery pack in, I would suggest this way is a bit more of a hullabaloo, but what you can do is just extend the stock and then right here using this little tab you can pull the stock off completely right now i've got the mag full as i said it takes about 300 bbs and remember i said i really like these mags apart from the fact they're famous you know in my shorts when i show movies that are a bit lazy when it comes to concealing the fact that they're using airsoft <laughs> um, i've seen a few of these in my time even with the lics logo on it but anyway I do love these mags because one, high capacity, okay? So it's a high cap mag. Two, you can see when it's full by the window there. However, there is something I don't like and you know this. And you know this, man! And this has nothing to do with ICS. This is just high cap mags in general. <laughs> one, you have to wind it up, okay? I can live with that. 
What I don't like, they're like blooming baby rattles. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're in the middle of an airsoft game, whether it be indoors or outdoors, and you're running, that's gonna give your position away. <laughs> But having said that, the advantages far outweigh the disadvantages because you can lay down fire 300 rounds of BBs without having to think about changing your mag. The only thing you do have to do is every now and again. <laughs> right, let's see what she's packing. Oh no, oh no, oh no, come on ICS, what have you done to me? Right, so full disclosure, as an airsoft unboxer in the UK, there's certain guidelines and rules that I have to and always will abide by, okay? It's just not worth the risk. So whenever a company approaches me, remember I never ask them for anything, Whenever a company approaches me and wants to send me an airsoft rifle or anything like that, I send them a standard, a standard formatted email that I've written out that I send to all airsoft companies that want to send me an airsoft rifle, okay, or an airsoft pistol. And it states in there, any airsoft product that is capable of full auto, the FPS must not exceed 370. However, if it can only do semi-auto, you can take it up to about 520, 519 FPS, and then obviously I put the jewels in that uh, formatted uh, email. Now, a bad boy like this that does semi-auto, I remember one company years ago got it wrong. They thought I meant, if it's capable of semi and full, that means I can have it go up to 520, no. In the email it says, if any airsoft product is capable of doing full auto, meaning it does semi-auto anyway, but you can switch it to full auto, the FPS must not exceed 370. Now, ICS knows this, and so does all the other companies, but every now and again, mistakes will happen. And this little bad boy slipped through. How it got through, I don't know, but it slipped through the net, ended up at Airsoft Mike HQ, hot out of the box now clearly i can't use this for gameplay clearly in some countries that sort of fps is totally acceptable okay but in the uk it's not so disclosure what i'm going to do before i do any more on this because i still want to show you how the uh triple s e trigger system works and all of that and one or two bits and bobs i'm going to get the spring changed out in this so that it drops right down to the UK legal limit. I thank you and I thank you for watching and thank you once again ICS. I love you guys, but please just check next time, yeah? <laughs> thank you.